I am making a cocoa depression cake. It was made in the <clears throat> during the depression. There's no dairy, there's no egg. I'm vegan, so it's perfect for me. I've never used this recipe before, so I don't know how the cake's going to turn out, but that's what happens when you experiment with baking. never have too much vanilla extract. <laughs> Vinegar. This is Eileen's supervisor, Mr. Cliff, the Wonder Cat. Okay. So the batter's done. And it tastes really good. I'm waiting for the oven to finish heating. And filling the pans. This cake is really fluffy, as you can see. It might be one of the best vegan cakes I've ever seen. Um, the other cakes I've experimented with are pretty heavy. But this one looks like a normal cake. Magic. So here we're simmering the strawberries to make the sauce that's going to fill the layers of the mm -hmm. cake. So as you can see here, I cut the lower center out of the bottom layer. Uh, that's, that's the cake I dug out and I simmered my strawberries with sugar for about half an hour and I'm going to pour them into the cake hot. Look at that. Perfect amount. I was guessing when I filled my pan with strawberries, but that was a pretty good guess. Look at that. And there we go. Second layer's on. Time to make the chocolate ganache. <laughs> so this is chocolate ganache. It's squares of dark chocolate. Uh, normally it's made with heavy cream, but since it's vegan, I'm using my coconut milk yogurt and a splash of non-alcoholic rum. And this is what we're going to use to top the cake. And the piece de resistance. Voila. Oh wow, that is so good.